The next section of this video is about common driving problems in Western Australia. In Western Australia, you cannot drive without a valid driver's licence or learner's permit. Vehicle and licence check, do you have your driver's licence with you at the moment? Um, I don't have one. If you have a driver's licence that is currently suspended or cancelled, or you drive contrary to an extraordinary licence, and you get stopped by police, your vehicle will be impounded. It's a mandatory suspension, right. so unfortunately we're going to have to seize this vehicle. If a provisional driver is charged with anything under Section 49, which is a no driver's licence, yeah. um, they're automatically suspended by the court, by, by the Department of Transport for three months. It will be towed away and you will not get it back until after 28 days. That will happen even if it is not your vehicle. In Western Australia, if you drive without a Western Australian driver's licence, your vehicle can be impounded for 28 days. Um, like this vehicle here tonight, if your vehicle is impounded, it will cost you around $900 to get the vehicle out of the impound. When they first started collecting uh, unlicensed drivers, we were getting 50 a month in the Joondalup district alone. For the whole metro area a night, probably about 120 a night. If you allow someone else to drive your vehicle, and they have it taken away because they don't have a licence, you won't be able to get it back and you will have to pay the fine and you can also be prosecuted for allowing somebody to drive your vehicle whilst they don't have a licence. In order to get your licence back, it costs in the vicinity of $900. If you don't pay, this could be the end result of your vehicle.